welcome to Shemunk doing another reaction. Today we're reacting to a trailer. This is Morgan's Mask. Um, uh, want to check it out. I don't know exactly what this is, but um, yeah, I was like, let's check this one out and see what's going on with this one. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check the trailer out. <laughs> yeah, if y'all know me, I'm willing to check out any type of trailer no matter what it is. My favorite genre though is still horror. But let's see what's happening. Does anyone feel like it's the same day of the winter? Ha! Well, it's going to be done by the end of April, so there's that. What's Arthur doing? I don't know, we haven't talked much. What's up? 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 Due to the economic impact of COVID-19, we're sad to announce that we've been forced to declare bankruptcy and close our doors indefinitely. Guess I'm officially unemployed. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see my new cosplay? It's Mercy from Overwatch. Are you planning on wearing something underneath it? That Something like that is designed only for supermodels who only eat kale. Oh. You can't sacrifice your dreams for oh. someone else. It's just a recipe for disaster. I just feel stuck. The world is passing me by and I'm hopeless to do anything about it. It makes me feel bad. I hate That was uh on digital. That was uh Morgan's mask. Um definitely understandable. Um this is about an influencer, um and them trying to uh I guess hide their lives, hide the um what's what's going on behind I guess the scenes. Um but then try to show something different and stuff as far as their audiences and stuff like that. Um yeah, that happens with a lot of influencers, a lot of uh, content creators and stuff like that. Um, there, there's some that they just won't let you into their personal lives and what's going on with them. Um, but they try to show up front as far as just to the audiences and stuff like that, which is very understandable because you still want everything to feel fine as far as your content, your um, creativity, your, um, however you're influencing and stuff for people. You always want to try to still give people that, you know, those good feels and stuff as well. So you don't want to try to bring people down, I guess, um, by going off of what you're dealing with in your personal life, stuff like that. So this is most like influencers that are mostly here to entertain, stuff like that. So I think that's what a lot of people's thought processes are. So they don't try to, you know, get too personal with other things. Um, I definitely say that I do lay some stuff out as far as just what I'm dealing with. If I'm that, I don't get too personal with my life neither. But I'll let y'all, like, I would still say, like, I'm going through some things, and which is true. I'm also going through some things, mental issues and stuff like that myself. But um, I don't try to make it like a main point of uh, my content or anything that's going on. Um, and this is to me just therapy. Therapy and relaxation and it just feels good to try to get back into what I was going for what I really did love and doing um, And that's editing and stuff like that um, So yeah <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely very hard especially during at during the pandemic uh, I think it was a boost for influencers and stuff But I think as far as like if you were working and trying to do uh, being an influencer uh, being a content creator um because you weren't making a lot of money as a content creator. Um, I think it very much hurt a lot of people when it came to uh, them not working. Because it was a lot of jobs that did um, let a lot of people go because of the pandemic. Um, which we've experienced as well. 
we we had that happen. Um, myself, and my roommate. But I didn't lose my job, but uh, my roommate lost his during the pandemic. And, It's, it's it can be just really really horrible. Um, it's like once they tried to come back, um, when they were able to go back to work, it's just not a lot of people are still going outside, still going to places and stuff, and so they were still losing money in the company, and they were like, you know what, we're gonna have to let people go, and that's exactly what they did. And it sucks, it really does. Um, but yeah, I can definitely feel it on that point as far as uh, what the film and stuff seems and looks like. So yeah, it might be entertaining um, just to check out. I don't think it's going to be like spectacular um, as far as the movie and stuff goes. But it seems like like heartfelt if you can really uh, understand it, the art and everything, the, um, the emotion and stuff. Um, then yeah, I think it would be enjoyable for you um, to look at. Um, so yeah, because <laughs> this is definitely one of those ones we have to connect to really to really enjoy it. But um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like to subscribe, see some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on. Give me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geek. Don't.